You know, it's just kind of, this is a busy B day, if you think about it, uh, because you have the Fed meeting. We're going to know in less than two hours what they're going to do. Kind of a foregone conclusion. We think they're not going to do anything. You also have the Republican conference, their meeting to decide whether Speaker Ryan uh, will be Speaker Ryan. See, I'm already taking that leap, but he's expected to be. That then goes to a full vote in the House. And then there's this separate issue, this two-year budget deal, which is kind of unusual in Washington, to go ahead and, and agree to some numbers for two years, try to stick to them, try to get this over the, of the, the next election, and move on to other issues. In the middle of all of that, we have Republican Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn from the fine state of Tennessee. So much to get into, uh, Congressman. First on Paul Ryan. Would he have your support? Yes, Paul will have my support, and I anticipate that he's going to have a solid, solid number. He'll get past that 218 in the conference this afternoon. Really? Now, do you know much about the Freedom Caucus and whether... Yes, I do. So there are a minimum of 20 members who will likely vote for him, but it could be, we're told, up to 30 to 35. Do you know that? Well, I think that what you're going to see is the majority of the Freedom Caucus, uh, the Liberty Caucus, Conservative Opportunities Society. I think you're going to see a majority of those of us who are conservatives move forward and vote for Paul. All right. Now, it, it, he's obviously on, uh, you know, in a delicate position here, saying that he thinks the process stinks that, uh, that brought us this two-year deal. But that, yeah. I guess he would hold he his nose and vote for it. So that's kind of like having I, your cake and eating it, too, which I know, Congressman, yeah. is a stupid expression because I figure the cake's there. Eat it. But having said that, having said that, is he trying to have it both ways? And isn't that what riles a lot of your fellow conservative members? I, you know, I haven't talked with him about the budget deal specifically. I agree that it's a bad deal. You know, I'm one of those that is not for this. I think there's a lot of things that are wrong. My constituents think there's a lot that is wrong with with this and so it's not something that I can support and I don't know oh, if so you're not going, going to support, support it, it or not. You won't vote for it? No. Why, the, the big reason being what? Uh, several reasons. One, it busts the budget caps that we put in place and we know you can spend less and cut more from discretionary spending. Agencies like the EPA and the IRS do not need more money. You also need to get in there and reform Social Security disability, not do a money transfer from Social Security. The ag issues with crop insurance, that breaks faith with our farmers. We need to see entitlement reform, starting with Medicaid. That is not included in this. So there are some big issues that well, need to be Bottom addressed. You're a no vote. Congressman, you're a no vote. Well, I got you here. Yeah. Uh, you probably heard of a, a judge now in Alabama, the latest uh, legal challenge to a challenge to Planned Parenthood and defunding it, saying, Alabama, you can't do this. Uh, hold the phone on taking Medicaid uh, proceeds and, and stripping them away from Planned Parenthood. This follows similar actions. Utah, Louisiana, I know a couple are brewing in Texas. We've got a dozen states that have been looking at various ways to defund Planned Parenthood. But in a lot of those cases, Congresswoman, a judge or a court slaps them down. Where's this going? Well, I think what we will do is move forward with looking at the abortion industry and the procurement organizations. That is going to be our focus at the federal level and looking at the relationship there. I understand that there are going to be states that are going to push forward with defunding challenges, with uh, court challenges to other organizations and to the abortion industry and dealing with Title X funds, Medicaid money, and we'll see where that goes. Uh, thank you, Congressman. Very good having you. There's a lot, a lot separately good being going, with you. A lot separately going on here. Uh, guys,